All right, men, this one is for you. Ladies, if you're listening, please share this with the men in your life. But here's the big news. We here at Ascension are starting a men's ministry this fall. The first question is why? Well, there are a lot of competing narratives out there in the world on what it means to be a man. We in the church want men to know what God's design for masculinity and manhood is. Some parts of contemporary culture portray man as a bumbling buffoon and a halfwit like Homer Simpson, who, if it wasn't for his gracious wife Marge, would most likely end up homeless. Another issue we have I'll call the Peter Pan perpetual boyhood syndrome. Some men refuse to grow up. They exist in perpetual adolescence. They are too self-centered or perhaps scared to take on the real responsibilities of education or work and family. Another false narrative for manhood I've seen I'll call the macho man. You know the macho man, right? He's ruggedly independent. He drives a big truck, shoots big guns, has a big beard, objectifies or is demeaning towards women. Um, there's a lot of different characteristics for this guy. That also is not real manliness. So, if these aren't God's design for masculinity, what is? Well, you're just going to have to wait to join us this fall to find out. Okay, no, I'll give you a little teaser. I'll give you a teaser. So Jeff Hemmer wrote this book here called Man Up, uh, The Quest for Masculinity, and he puts it like this. Masculinity is not a single trait. It's a lifestyle, a discipline, a habit cultivated by practice. Real masculinity is not found in any individual characteristic or trait, but in the intersection of male characteristics with the exercise of manly virtue. Masculinity means harnessing the natural power a man possesses and using it for the good of others around him. The essence of masculinity is not rugged independence. It is sacrificial giving. You see, being a man is not about pursuing pleasure or power or fame or entertainment or trying to find the path of least resistance through life. Being a man is about pursuing the good, the beautiful, the just, the excellent, the true, the noble, and the virtuous, no matter the cost. It is about bringing order and meaning to a chaotic world. It is about humbly confessing one's sins and receiving forgiveness from the God-man, Jesus Christ, and sharing that forgiveness with the world. It's about giving, not taking. It's about causing everything and everyone around you to grow and to flourish. Here are some words from St. Paul to his son in the faith, Timothy, that I want to leave you with. 2 Timothy chapter 3. But understand this, that in the last days there will come times of difficulty, for people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, proud, arrogant, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, heartless, unappeasable, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not loving good, treacherous, reckless, swollen with conceit, Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Having the appearance of godliness but denying its power. Avoid such people. Yikes. And then he says to Timothy, But as for you, continue in what you have learned and have firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. So, more details to come, but I hope you men out there will join us for our men's ministry starting this fall.